Now I am describing the website inventory management system that I have developed currently. First, if we talk about the user experience of our developed site, then a user will experience the navbar positioned on the top of the page. And there are some items which will take the user to the desired link of the item. Here we have used a React Router. I have used the React Content Management System to run this site. Then here are some carousel images which is sliding the next and next. Mainly I have used here the Tailwind CSS to beautify the site, which is the favorite CSS framework. Also, I have used some vanilla CSS to customize some elements. If we notice the tools section of the home page, then some of the tools are showing here from all tools with some description and images. If we click the purchase button, then it will take the user to the login page. It is happening for using Firebase authentication to identify the user who is now visiting our site. We have constructed the login page with Firebase authentication method to identify a user is an admin or a general purpose user. Here are two roles of the user. They are admin and user. The admin can take some accesses of the user's data, but the user has only some limited accesses that they can edit their information, they can purchase and watch their purchase condition, etc. Now, if we try to log in as a user, then here we will show that there are some navigation items that portfolio, dashboard, and, and the user's name. If we click on the dashboard route, then here we will see that my order, a review, and profile option. After login, when the user click on the purchase button, then, then he can purchase the item of the tool. When the user log in as an admin, then he will show some extra information on the dashboard. Here the user will show the manage all orders, add tools, manage products, and also my profile option. An admin has many actions that a general purpose user will not able to do. That's all about our developed website. Now, if we summarize our website's internal functionality, then first I have used React, which is the JavaScript library to construct my website front-end development. Second, I have used Mongodb to store the data of my project. And lastly, here is use the Node.js to run the backend server. And the server has deployed on Heroku to make like the server. Thanks. That's all about our developed website.